Yo guys, it is Sorry you already know today we are back playing some more Diggerampa V3 uh, in the salmon mode, uh, doing some free time events. We are going to do plenty of free time events today, but first we need to get some money. And uh, we're going to do that by doing the, the salmon fishing mini game because uh, as my science has shown, that, at least for me, based on what I am good at, uh, is the best way to make money. So, we're gonna go ahead and just do this to start off the, the episode, and then we're just gonna do a bunch of free time events. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have 500 coins. I think I'm going to bet a lot more. How do we... There we go. Let's increase by... Oh, we can only go up to 99. Oh, but on normal, we can go up a little bit more. Alright, so let's go to normal. Let's bet... Did we do kind of normal before? I don't remember. I'm going to bet... Like... We get it. We're gonna get a free hundred. I'm gonna bet four hundred. I'm gonna bet four hundred coins on the normal difficulty. Let's do it. All right. Absolute focus is needed. Green. Okay. There's blue here. There's a red here. Boom. Boom. There's another red there. Okay, here's a blue. The green up here, perfect. Uh, there's a green way down here. I think this is blue. Okay, here's some red. Green, you're green. You're blue. Whoops, blue. Red. Red. Blue. Green. Uh, here's another green. Oh gosh. Okay, you're red. Where's the blue? Blue's up here. Here's a red. And another red. Oh, that no. Oh, I messed it up. That's the first time I've ever messed it up like that. Wait, where's the? Here's the blue. Uh oh, this is not going well. Blue. Green. Red. Now I'm like way less confident. Dude, the blues are so scarce. Okay, we got some red. There's another red. Green. Blue. Alright, here's a blue. Oh, blue. There's a green. Oh, gosh. That's a red. Uh, here's a green up here. You're red. Uh, this was, this was not a good round. I don't know if I made money. Uh, I made a little bit. I made a little bit. Alright, I didn't lose. I... I feel like I've done better. Uh, alright. Do I want to get prizes, or do I want to save... There's a lot of them that are worth a thousand. There's a couple of them that are worth three hundred. But I think I want to save for these ones that are worth, like, a thousand. You know? The only exception... Wait, did I buy... I remember before... It was like death flag. I did buy a death flag. I don't have a survival. Oh, a survival flag uh, costs way more. I I don't think I'm buying anything today. I should sell plenty of items. Uh, I've got the gift guide up and ready, so I'm just going to look at a gift, pick it, and then decide who to hang out with uh, based on who likes that gift. All right, we've got 100 coins. We should be able to make a lot more money tomorrow. Maybe if I bet 500 coins, I can get to over a thousand, and then I can buy something. Uh, all right, let's look at our presents. Who are we going to hang out with first? We're gonna go to like the middle of the list. Oh, here we go. What's this? Gold origami. Number 58. Sure. Who likes gold origami? Let's see. Nobody loves it. There are two people that like it. So let's go ahead and find oh gosh i'm i'm playing this one a different day so now i don't remember where like anybody is i think the person i'm looking for is this way yeah himiko it's your time to shine what did you come to invite me uh yes let's spend some time together i don't mind spending time with you but how will it benefit my magic well explain it to me magically i will I explained magically why hanging out with me will give benefits. I spent some good time, or I spent some time convincing him to go that hanging out was a good idea, magically speaking. <laughs> great, great, love that. 
Himiko and I go a little closer today. Uh, yes. I got some gold origami just for you. Uh, right here. All yours. Ah. Yes, this is a dude. Now my MP can recover. Uh, and just before we get into this, let's go ahead and review what we already know about Himiko based on our previous free time events. Uh, seems like a lazy girl, but she's constantly perform uh, performing complicated magic tricks. Curious about this pair of dis uh, discrepancy. I talked to her about it and discovered that she trained under a great mage uh, to be the ultimate magician, and that her master is a legendary mage known around the world. She likes to talk at length about her days training under him, but when I asked where he was now, she was silent. Ooh. So, yeah, that's that's where we left off. Hmm. Well, still not enough to power a big spell. Yeah. Feels like I'm getting used to this. Breathing makes me too tired. I feel that. Breathing? You need to breathe or you'll die, you know? You want to die? Fine, I'll just suck in oxygen with my magic. That's impossible. I have to think of something that will program quick. Hey. Himiko, can you continue, continue telling the story you were telling before? Uh, the one that made you sad? <laughs> story from before? What was it again? Remember. Uh, when you became an apprentice and you went up on stage with your master. Mm -hmm. now, what's the point of telling you? No. Wait, no, that's not... Mm -hmm. well, I guess you can't help it. A mystical mage is right in front of you. Oh, well, that's just how it is. I'll show you how special mages are. I'll teach you just how many hardships I had to go through. Himiko closed uh, her eyes and inhaled a deep breath, then she slowly began speaking. Hi. As I traveled the world with my master, I realized something odd. When I was on stage, the audience was cheering for me, not my master. I thought, there's no way they'd be cheering for me over my master. Huh? No way. That's right. Of course not, my master is a great mage that exceeds even me. But I knew uh, what was really happening. Why? Uh, what do you mean? Mm. We were sent letters and gifts from fans all the time, but they are all addressed to me. They lied about how great I was and called my master old-fashioned. Oh. Huh? They were terrible to make a trap like that. I didn't want their praise. Huh? A trap? That's right. That's right. It was all a trap to make me leave my master. Someone trying to take my master's title of Archmage uh, did something so sneaky. No, I don't think it's something nefarious like that. Nothing that complicated. Also, it was around that, uh, that time that the apprentice succeeded her master. But she can't, she can't like, uh, believe or conceptualize that, like, somehow she's, like, a better mage than her than her master maybe her master just really sucked though <laughs> maybe it was the ultimate magician after all yeah but it worked it worked my master got caught in the trap the curse of the letters affected him and slowly drained him of his powers people started to notice me more i was invited to magic shows most of them wanted to make me the headline not my master Himiko scared her feet shoulder shaking i couldn't tell if she was angry or sad probably a mix of both everyone's stupid my master is the best mage that's why I, his people, became such a great mage. Why? I don't get they get that. There's no way I'm better than my master. Hmm. Himiko. I always sounded so unlike me, usually sympathetic and consoling. Himiko must have known she had outgrown a master. But she doesn't want to accept it. And then my master. Huh? Yes? Right. The story ends here. Huh? huh? What a I'm tired of talking. I'm close for today. No! What happened to him? Alright, I was gonna say, I, it feels like we're getting almost a resolution to the story, but there's still two more free time events left. So we know what one's gonna be. I don't know how it wraps up. Watch Himiko walk away and I return to my room. Alright, let's go to... Uh, let's see who is next to be hung out with. Look at our items. We got... Uh... Here, how about this everywhere parasol? Who, who would like an everywhere parasol... Uh, scrolling down the list, we have the lucky winner is Nobody Loves It. There are a couple people who like it. Um, and I actually think that there's one that we haven't hung out with, but also Kaede's right here, and I want to have another free time event with Kaede. All right. <laughs> oh, we can't lose Monokuma. Let's find a way to escape, Shuichi. Uh, what if we just hung out instead? Mm. I think this whole reality dating show is throwing me off. Of course, I definitely prefer this over killing each other. Yeah. So, the determination, I spent some time with Kaede. Got now I get a little closer. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you a parasol. Uh, right here. It's yours. Enjoy. You know? I really like these kinds of things. Uh, do you enjoy them too, Shuichi? It would make me a bit happier to know we like the same things. God, I think I said something embarrassing just now. Hey, hey Shuichi. Ah, uh, what? You scared me getting that close. Sorry. Oops, sorry. I just got super excited. Huh? What is it? 
Let's play a piano duet, duet together. Uh, a piano duet? I see. All right, you don't know yet. A duet is when two people play on the same piano. I, I mean, if you know anything about... I, I, anyway, I, I feel like you should be able to figure that out. Huh? You can do that? Of course. Well, since the piano has 88 keys. Now that she mentions it, I suppose pianos are pretty wide. You know? I want you to know more about the piano. That's why a duet with you would be perfect. Wait. But wait a minute. What's the matter? I was wrong. Is there a problem? Hey. It's just, it would be such an honor to perform with you. I don't know. Jeez. Whatever, I'm just a normal high school girl. Ugh. Ah, but I've never played piano before. Right? It was like that in the beginning. You gotta try new things anyway. Ah, uh, yes, the very easy to learn instrument piano. Notoriously famous for being very easy to learn. <laughs> uh, I soon found myself in Kaido's lab in front of her piano. Oh, right. Okay, let's start practicing. Sit in front of the piano, Shuichi. Uh, okay. okay. If there's like an instrument that I could learn to play, uh, piano is definitely the one that I would want to be able to play. I've, I've like learned bits and pieces just to like be able to play like some melodies, and I've like somewhat looked at chords, but they're kind of hard to play. And then combining playing both together is like so hard. Uh, but that that is something that I would love to be able to. I'd love to be able to play piano someday. But who knows? You know. And I put your fingers on the keys, hmm. like this. Uh, oh, don't place your fingers flat. Uh, keep your fingers uh, light and don't press the keys too hard. Uh, um, uh, like this. Uh, bend them a little more. Pretend you have an egg in your hand. Hey. I'm gonna touch your hands, okay? Uh, so you know how to play in the correct form. Uh. Ooh. I, hey, everybody watching the, the reality dating show is loving this right now. She's so close, touching me, soft, warm. What am I thinking about? I hope she hasn't noticed. Yeah, that's right. Okay, just like that. Uh, make sure only your fingertips touch the keys. Huh? Mm, Shuichi, uh, you don't look very focused. Um. <laughs> it's just really hard. <laughs> Really? I was able to do this right away. It's so hard to give me lessons to someone else. Uh, maybe I'm just a horrible teacher. Oh, right. This will be a good experience. I'm learning from you, Shuichi. Uh, really? All right, then. <laughs> uh, okay, friends. Time to teach me the basics. Uh, it was so close to me the whole time. I had trouble focusing. But now I know why they called her the piano freak. Very cool. Good job. Hey, you're pretty good, Shuichi. I think you can play a basic song now. Really? You think so? No, I'm not that good. You're just a great teacher, Kaede. Well, the great Kaede Akamatsu is saying you can, so be more confident. Kidding, that's the great part. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. I feel a bit more confident now. You know? With pianos, music will play as long as you press the keys. There are a bunch of people who have taught themselves and went a long way. I'll do it. You'll be fine, Shuichi, since I'll be here to teach you everything. We'll be here. Forever and always. There's no way that she'll die. Not, not in any universe. She'll be here for the whole school trip. I played until Kaede and I were satisfied. Return to my room. Cool stuff. Uh, I believe, is it back to the casino we go? It is. All right, it's time to fish some more. All right, let's uh, hopefully have a better showing this time. And also bet, I think I'm gonna go up to 500. Yeah, let's, let's bet like 500. And have a better showing here. Uh, here's green, blue, red. Oh, I know that one's blue. Okay, here's green, red. You're red? You're blue. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, you're green. Oh, okay, red. I was really trying to look at where the, the blue one was, which is up here. Okay, you're green. You're blue. You're red. I almost clicked the wrong one. Okay, thankfully you're green. Blue below, red above. Perfect. I think you're red. Okay, you're green. You're blue. Okay, here's some green. All right, then we have red and blue right here. There's blue. There's red. Nice, nice. Okay, you're green. There's a red there. Where's blue? I we're definitely doing better this time. Red, red, blue, blue. Okay, here's a blue. Green. You red? I wasn't entirely sure. Okay, green. We have a blue here, red above. Mm, we need a green. We need a green. You're green. Okay, you're red. Were you green? Yes. You're red. Okay, we have blue. Here we have green and red. Perfect. Blue. There's two green right up here. 
Blue. More blue. I feel like blue is like the hardest for me to find for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, another red. Blue. Oh, I couldn't get that blue. We definitely got a better score there. An S rank. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. That's how we do it. Now I have so many more coins. This is what we needed. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm going to buy... Let's buy one of these things that's a thousand. Let's buy two of the things that are 300 and then save the rest of our money. Buy one of those. Uh, something else has 300. Book of the Blackened. That is the most uh, Correcchio gift I've ever seen. All right, and then we'll we'll hold we'll hold tight at a thousand coins. Maybe we'll even bet a thousand coins uh, on the next casino thing. Now we're in a good cycle of, of getting a lot of coins. Okay, I was worried. I was like, I feel like I'm not getting uh, enough coins to to get gifts, and I feel like I'm gonna run out of uh, gifts uh, before too long. But uh, all right, got another hundred coins. Let us look at our gifts and see who we're gonna hang out with come on loading screen you can do it all right what do we got what do we got we have uh let's go oh what about this sweater this hand knit sweater who wants this let's scroll up and look the winner is nobody likes it or i'm sorry nobody loves it one person likes it and it's the person that I passed over uh, last time in favor of Kaede. Where are you? I don't think you're this way. This is Kokichi and Rentaro's over that way. Uh, I think the person I'm looking for might be right here. Hello, Tenko. We're going to hang out with you. Himiko, 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 Himiko. You only need to say her name three times uh, for her to appear in a mirror. I hope you know. What would you like to do with Tenko? Let's go ahead and spend some time together. Why is Himiko so cute? I mean, that's a great question. Not a doubt she's so perfect. She's my image of the ideal girl. If you're just a degenerate, you must understand how cute Himiko is, right? She's cute in like a childlike way. Uh, let's just be be clear. Tenko and Himiko are like similar age, age ranges, so Tenko can find her like, you know, attractive cute. I would say that Himiko is like childlike cute. Just so we're clear on that front. Uh, Tenko and I spent quite some time discussing how cute Himiko is. Uh, I love that. I, I love the, the visual of Shuichi being like roped into this conversation, having to agree that Himiko is like really cute, but like probably doesn't feel uh, like, you know, that that way. All right, Tenko and I go a little closer. I want to double check. I think I might have had one free time event with Tenko. Is that true or not? No, this is my first one. All right, Tenko, let's start learning about you. Uh, Yes, we are going to give you a hand knit sweater there you go i'm oh, not bad Shuichi. you actually made me really happy don't assume you can appease me girls are not that simple true i think i'm regretting this a little bit well nobody's really that simple but yeah true uh, i want to ask my past self uh why i thought it was a good idea to hang out with tenko <laughs> uh you, you got use your words come on tenko Okay, yeah, it's still not a word yet. I mean, his isn't. Well, kind of it. Yeah, whatever. Hey. Give me a reaction already. I don't know what else to do. Oh, you don't know what to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey. Tinko, what are you trying to do? I'm intimidating you. Grr. Oh, that's what I thought. Uh, ah, I feel so intimidated. Why are you trying so hard to intimidate me? Because you're a degenerate male. That kind of honesty is certainly refreshing. Mm -hmm. Where are you thinking of inviting me to hang out with you? Wait, actually, I already know. You're trying to get rid of me first, so you can sexually harass the other girls. Wh okay. No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Why, why do you hate men so, men so much, Tenko? It was a simple enough question. Uh -huh. Why, huh? Well, did I know that <laughs> what wrath I had brought upon myself? Of course you males wouldn't know. You're the worst, slowest, most evil scum. Uh, up. Degenerates always need a reason for everything, don't they? And you don't even know why you're scum because you don't criticize yourself. Master said so, too. <laughs> I, uh, if you're talking about people who criticize themselves, Shuichi is very clearly almost near the top of the list. 
um, because he very much criticizes, or, or at least in his backstory, has criticized himself for the actions that he's taken. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, what you're saying is landing right here. As long as there are selfish males, I will never master Neo Aikido. Huh? What kind of logic is that? Are you asking questions like that to get closer to me? As I thought, there are no pros to males other than they are born for women. You're the worst of the worst. Can't you see I'm looking at you in disgust, but you're still coming closer to me. Why, God, why? Why did you create degenerate males? Girls will be able to live in peace if you de degenerates disappear from this world. <laughs> I knew it. Males are actually created by the devil, right? Oh, there's a theory. Wait. Tenko. <laughs> wow. Just telling her to just shut up for a minute is only going to, like, prove her point. Uh, I'm sorry? Sorry. <laughs> why are degenerate males so... Do you think you can fix it by just apologizing? Such cowardice. I won't allow it. Damn, that had the opposite effect. Hey. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Just calm down a minute. And this is where I made my second mistake. I grabbed her shoulder. <laughs> Just like a degenerate male. I knew you tried to touch me. Huh? What? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh. Why did you throw me? <laughs> I do like Tenko just, like, throwing people. Uh. Hey, you just touched me, didn't you? Wait. Touch you? You touched me when you threw me. What is this? Yeah, which is technically touching me. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Shuichi, you did touch her shoulder first, actually. All right, what a what a productive conversation that was. We're gonna be great friends, me and Tanko. I can just feel it. I was thrown several more times, blacked out, and then woke up on my bed. <laughs> what happened? Did Tanko carry me here? <laughs> oh gosh, Tanko is uh, something else. All right, let's uh, see. What present are we going to give away today? Let's go. Let's go more towards the bottom. What's down here? Can we give away this, the, these bear ears? Why don't we look and see if anybody buddy wants some bear ears? Who, who would want that? Wow, nobody loves it, but there are a lot of people that like it. Um, <clears throat> let's go with Gonta. We're going to hang on Gonta. I'm going to be useful to everyone. I think the last time we hung out with Gonto, we learned that he was raised by, like, dragon folk or something, uh, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and just, like, make sure that I'm I'm being uh, pretty accurate about that. Uh, yeah. Lizard people. And he fought many martial artists that made their way through the forest. Uh, yeah. So, Gonta is an interesting, an interesting sort. How Gonta can be useful to everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and spend some time together. Maybe others need Gonta's strength someday. Gonta do his so Gonta train body. Be ready when day comes. Want to join Gonta, Shuichi? Yeah, let's let's go for it. Gonta and I spent some time working out. All right, let's go ahead and give you some bear ears. I feel like Gonta, Gonta would look legitimately adorable uh, wearing these on his head. I really, I really want. Can somebody make some fan art of Gonto wearing the barriers? Because that's what I want now. Uh, but real gentlemen say nice thing. Gen then gentlemen give gift too. Hey. Uh, Gonto's not real gentleman yet, huh? Someday Gonto give Shuichi a nice gift. You can give me like a thousand dollars. That'd be a really nice gift. Uh, thanks for inviting Gonto again, Shuichi. No. Oh no, you don't have to thank me, Gonto. Gentlemen always show grat gratitude with words. Hmm. Gentlemen, huh? You're very particular about that, Gonto. Hmm. Yes, Gonto would become great gentlemen. Um... Uh, but Gonto still have a long way to go before he become true gentlemen. I can't exactly give advice without more information. Um, uh, what do you think a gentleman is, Gonta? Hey. Gentleman, excellent man. Best man, even. I suppose I should have expected that kind of answer from Gonta. Then... Ah, well, uh, what do you think a gentleman does? Maybe. A gentleman behave like a gentleman. Kind, earnest, refined, polite. Oh, a gentleman always treat lady with respect. That very important. Alright, that's more like what I would expect of a gentleman. Hey. And drink tea all the time. And say clever jokes. Huh? What? Were you just watching some, like, British television? And solve mysteries with young sidekick. Yeah, mm, okay. Huh? Solve mysteries? Gonta, I don't think you solved a single mystery in the entire time that you were uh, in <laughs> the game. Um... Gonta, your gentleman, go on adventures to find stone mask and wear fancy tuxedos and save ladies from danger. But Gonta, not smart. Not sure if Gonta can think of cool phrase to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, some gentlemen talk to each other with muscles. Perfect for Gonta. Hey. What do you think, Shuiji? What kind of gentleman best suits Gonta? Uh, where do I even begin? What happened? 
Switchy, what wrong, Gunter bothering you? No, it's nothing like that. It's just the gentlemen you described don't sound to me like real gentlemen. I see, Gunter not know. You know a lot about gentlemen, Chuichi. No. What? Ah, not really. No. Yes, you do. Maybe you teach Gonta how to be a gentleman. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh gosh. I I don't know how I ended up letting this happen to me, but here we are. Funny my anxiety, I return to my room. Is it another casino time? We only do seven days, right? Or is it ten days? I don't remember. All right. Time to fish for some salmon. Yes. We're gonna keep doing same old, same old. Go to normal, and we're just going to bet the maximum amount. Oh yeah, because mean can go up even higher. But yeah, we're just gonna go maximum on normal. See if we can get another S rank, and then we can see like how much we really can, can rack up. Let's see. We got green, blue, I didn't actually see a red. Red, you're blue, green, a green, there's your blue, there's a red, all right, green, blue, I know there's a red there. Blue! None of you are blue! That was annoying. That's gonna probably rob us of our S rank. More blue. I'm so done with this. You're blue down here. You're red. Green. Now all the blue's showing up. There's blue. Red. Now, all right, green is up here. Red. Here's some blue. That blue? Hey, here's red. I think the green are up here, yep. Oh gosh, oh, there's a blue hiding under here. Get it. Red. There's some green. I think there was one that was going off screen. That's, that's, that was green. That's red. Okay, blue is hiding over here. Here's a green. There's a blue. Okay, you're red. You're blue. You're green. Yeah, I'm not gonna find it. That was a lot lower. That's definitely not an S rank. No, that's just the B rank. We still got solid profit. Like 500 extra coins is not nothing. Um, I will buy, is there anything else that's uh, left that is worth 300 that I don't have? 46 moves for the killing game. That's 460. That also works. I just want to keep... I want to make sure that I can bet the maximum amount. So yeah, we're going to buy this. And then we'll leave. I want to I want to keep 999 coins. So I can just keep doing that. Because if I can get S rank with 999, then I can probably get like almost 2,000 coins. Something like that. All right. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and do at least one more free time event. We'll see how quick it is. Maybe we'll have time for... Uh, Two more free time events. I think that'd be nice. Um, there's a crystal bangle. Let's go ahead and give that to somebody. It is a newer gift that we have. So who wants it? Nobody loves it. A lot of people like it. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Uh, there's somebody that we have not had a free time event with in a while. Uh, and hey, you are right here. Kurumi, have we had any free time events with Kurumi? I put this much too early for a meal, correct? Let us double check. I don't know that I did anything with Kurumi yet. I have not. All right, well, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and spend some time together. I, will do my best. I feel even a slight uh, package. I'll prepare a suitable meal, but I'll adjust the portion so you may be able to eat for dinner. All right, I would appreciate that. Thank you. I ate the snack that Kurumi prepared. Thank you. I mean, I go a little closer. Yeah. I have something for you. You can have this crystal bangle. Hope you enjoy it. That is trouble. Even though I'm uh, here to serve you, I cannot believe I received such a great gift. The only way I can return the favor is to serve as your maid. Is that all right with you? Switchy, how can I help Shuichi, you? How can I help you? Huh? Help me? I will grant 
Uh, give me any command. I will do anything for you. I don't really have anything to ask you at the moment. Why did you talk to me then? Well, I was thinking we could spend some time together. Is that alright? No, not at all. If that is what you wish for, then I will wait uh, by your side forever. Uh, so please do not hesitate and request anything. Uh, it's not that I want you to wait on me. I just wanted to be with you for a while. That is... That's a rather vague request. Uh, what do you wish me to do? Conversate. No. I already told you I don't wish for you to do anything. How? Why'd you call for me then? then... Alright, uh, how about this? Let's talk about something. Understood. Would you like me to serve you by keeping you company? Huh? Serve? Do you agree? Is that not what you wish for? No, that isn't quite it. What should I say? Kurumi's a maid. Perhaps that's why she's so insistent about this. But at this rate, I'm going to suffocate. Kurumi's being too serious. Hey, uh, hey Kurumi. Uh, did you chat with your classmates during lunch breaks for after school? Yes. I had, somewhat. Why do you ask? Remember. Because I want to spend time with you in that way. Um, uh, for example, perhaps we could drink some tea in the dining hall? That is fine. Yes, that's fine. Uh, then let's go to the dining hall. Uh, good, she seems to understand. Are we sure that she's not the ultimate robot instead of Kibo? <laughs> Uh, Shuichi, what would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? That's true. Uh, tea, I suppose. Understood. Understood. I'll go and prepare it. Please wait. She's still gonna find a way to, like, serve us in some way. Oh, wait, Kurumi! Not too late. She's already in the kitchen. I didn't mean to make her prepare tea all by herself. Good job, Shuichi. My apologies, uh, my apologies for making you wait. It's, it is done. Kurumi returned, pushing a cart. Oh, and that cart was... Uh, well, what is all this? Yes. It is your afternoon tea. Well, I can see that, but I've never seen something so extravagant. Uh, there were delectable sandwiches, cakes, and scones lined up on the cart. Ooh. The tea smelled so wonderful. Uh, I put all the other tea I ever, had ever had to shame. She prepared all that in just minutes. Is this the power of the ultimate maid? Please. Shichi, please sit here. Thank you. Ah, yes, thank you. Sat down, but noticed Kurumi standing still with perfect posture as always. Hmm. Uh, Kurumi, aren't you going to sit? Mm -hmm. But if I sit as well, then I cannot serve you. No. I don't want you to serve me. Come and sit with me. Please. Go I prepared this just for you, so please. But... but may I? Shichi, you commanded me uh, to prepare you tea. And I intend to complete any request given. Please enjoy this tea. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to break through her another time. We'll, we'll find a way to get her to talk or something. I don't know. Can we wait on me hand and foot and I return to my room? The tea, the sandwiches, the skins, the cakes. You're all excellent. Alright, I mean... I would like to know if there's more to Kurumi or not. Just, like, in, in terms of, like, her personality. All right, let's go ahead and have one final free time event before we wrap up the episode. Who's it going to be? Well, that all depends on what present we give away. Let's go randomly to the middle. Uh, the weathercock. Oh, yes. Who wants a piece of this weathercock? <laughs> um, nobody loves it. A lot of people like it. Um, let's go... Oh, gosh. Hmm. Let's go to... Uh, where are you at? Let's 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 do a free time event with, with uh, Kyo. I am there was a lot of good choices. That could have been... That could have been Kyo. That could have been Kibo. That could have been Rantaro. Uh, Kokichi. I, there, were, there were a lot of interesting options there. But this is the one that I chose. Chose me, I was considering asking you too, Shuichi. Have we had a free time event with you yet? I do not remember. We have not. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and spend some time together. Uh, for us to be so compatible, uh, we must have known each other in a past life. What is it? Shuichi, do you believe uh, in the rebirth of the soul, reincarnation, or spirits? They're often dismissed as the occult, and yet they're uh, closely tied to anthropology. For example... Ah, he's going to tell me all about this stuff. Cool. I do like how knowledgeable uh, Kyo is about a lot of things. I spent the day learning about the anthropology of spirits. And yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and give you... What am I giving you? Alright. I, I, I almost forgot what I'm giving away. Obviously, I'm giving away the most valuable of presents. The Weathercock of Barcelos. From Portugal. I saw the little thing there. Wonderful. This is a fine gift. It almost makes me sorry uh, to be the one receiving it. So then. I, I would like to at least tell you some stories in return. Which one, though? Is that all right? uh, Kyo, what's the difference between anthropology, history, and archaeology? Uh, they're often confused, so your question is reasonable. To that question, they are different. Maybe a possible answer. Let's see. History is records, archaeology is buildings and relics, anthropology is folklore and customs. Okay. Uh, history studies events and changes in countries or regions across time. Archaeology traces the course of humanity through physical remains. 
Anthropology is a study that examines the thought behind traditions and customs. Uh, um... Okay, that's actually really interesting, and I... That actually helps me have a better uh, understanding of what anthropology is. I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. If you think of humanity at the core of anthropology, it should be clear. When people come feelings, those feelings intersect and become tradition. At least that's my stance on the matter. Hmm. Feelings intersect? Yes. yes, customs and folktales only occur in places where people can share them. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with such things. Is that, so? Is that so? But you encounter anthropology on a daily basis. For example, occult stories on the internet have their roots in folklore. Someone on a journey committing a taboo in a mountain village, for example. You're right. That's true, I hear that often. Various mythologies are frequently referenced in anime, manga, and games. A character's background can be viewed through an anthropolo anthrop anthropological? anthropological anthropological, lens. <laughs> uh, tools and houses in the background, jobs, speech, clothing, or food. With the proper knowledge, uh, such things can help you understand or work more deeply. Without it, such clues go to waste. Hmm. Fascinating. Uh, that knowledge will be very useful. <laughs> okay, it seems I've piqued your curiosity. Let us talk more. Well then, what image does the word Kappa uh, call to mind, Shuichi? Um... It is... What? I mean, I would... I, I think I would mostly associate it with a monster with a plate on its head? I, I, I think of Kappa, because there's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Isn't it like a sea monster of sorts? So, I, I don't know that it's a furry monster. And I don't know what a cool big brother is there. I, I would say this one, I don't know. That's... Monster with a plate on its head. I, see. I thought you would say that. Listen. It is anthropologically impossible for our mental images of a kappa to match. Huh? Impossible? Yes. Uh, originally, monsters had no form, for they were based on people's emotions. That image of a kappa is a culmination of many different people's thoughts. An ancient fear was changed over many years into a creature we can identify. Culture is constantly changing. Anthropology changes, uh, chases those changes. Thus, I must uh, keep the present in mind while I learn about past customs. Tell me your so, it is unexpectedly deep, yes? You're right. uh, yeah, profound. Very cool. I'm interested to see what more he has to say about anthropology. But that should uh, just about wrap up our session here. Are we going to the casino? Yes, we are. All right. Well, on the next time, we're going to continue the cycle of salmon fishing and pre time events. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. And uh, if so, let me know, and I will see you on the next time. So till then... Peace out.